had pictures of Lindsay on my wall uh, at my in my dorm room in university because she was like so like I idolized her and, and I don't even know why I reached out to her <laughs> but I did reach out to her and, and she was super inviting. Very gutsy move on her part she kind of just dissed the system and then wrote me one day and said hey can I come out and train with you guys so I kind of carefully stated what time our practice started and where we would meet on the lake and left it up to her to show up or not and she did and she just kept showing up, showing up, showing up. And it was the most incredible thing to watch. And it was like right away within the first week, I thought that's a person I want to row with. I had planned to be retired after London, but like my heart was saying you aren't finished. And mostly it was because I knew that we hadn't reached our maximum and I wanted to feel that. And if that meant another seventh, so be it. But I just knew there was more to be to be found. And so basically it was a three year campaign towards Rio where we were very, very methodical about recognizing what led to our downfalls in London and ensuring that did not happen again. I was so nervous for that race. Like it was so uncomfortable. In a lot of ways that carried over into the first like little bit of the race in the sense that I was just so nervous. It took a little bit longer to settle into the race than, than maybe other races because I've never raced an Olympic final before. So it was, it was a new experience. I kind of had that like Gumby experience where you feel like you're in this floaty dream state and your muscles aren't working. And it, it was this overwhelming realization that this was the last chance. Like this is your last <laughs> chance. And so I just started basically throwing our race plan out the window and and asking Patricia to start the process of sprinting to the line. And we did it, and thank goodness it worked out. <laughs> what I look back on and feel um, the most grateful for is uh, the working relationship that Lindsay and I had, how we functioned as athletes and how we supported each other that um, I'm really proud of, and I think it's really special. I think that the relationship I formed with Patricia, it's a lifelong friendship that means the world to me. Um, oh God, again, like, uh, I'm really proud for us to just kind of push a lot of that external stuff aside and just really enjoy and focus on the process and be focused on how we can better ourselves as an athlete, not be labeled a champion or a medalist and let that stuff just come as a result of of really growing and learning in the sport.